Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So before we talk about the Alpha Fly, please let me know in the comments below what's your favorite shoe of all time. It could be from the 60s, 50s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whenever, just let me know in the comments below. So uh, also I started my off marathon training this week. My goal will be sub 70. So come back every week and I'll give you an update on my training. This week, I, at the moment, what have I done? I did six 1Ks, then I did three 600s, then I did six 400s, all in one go with one minute recovery. And this Saturday, I'm gonna be doing three 5Ks. So uh, I'll post next week the times, the recovery and everything. So, uh, right, this, oh, actually, I did a race last week. This is the trophy I won with these trainers. So it's not too bad. So thank you, thank you, Don Moore. I'll be back next year, four times, hopefully. So let's go on now with the review. So the drama to test, the Alpha Fly 2 is 28 at the back and 31.5 at the front. Alpha Fly 1 is 32 at the back and 32 at the front. So the Alpha Fly 2 is a lot softer than the Alpha Fly 1 and it does feel softer, to be honest with you. For me, it's, it feels a bit too soft. True to size, I'm gonna give nine out of 10. Uh, the Alpha Fly 2 for me feels a lot better on the foot than the Alpha Fly 1. The Alpha Fly 1, I always had problems with the arch. Uh, with these, I didn't have a problem with the arch. I know some people still do. I've heard that if you've got a low arch, you shouldn't be running in these, they don't feel good. My arch is high, so I'm, I'm okay with these. So it did feel good on my foot. It felt better than the first one. So for that, I'm gonna give you nine out of 10. It is a big improvement for the uh, true to size. So well done Nike for that. Breathability, I'm gonna give eight out of 10. Uh, it's not, it's very breathable, but it's not as breathable as the Vaporfly. As you can see with the Vaporfly here, yeah. the Vaporfly has got big holes in it, which makes it very breathable. This one, not so much. It's still breathable, but however, Vaporfly is more breathable and this one isn't. So for that, I'm gonna give eight out of 10. So for weight, I'm gonna give six out of 10. Reason for that is this is eight ounces in my size nine. Uh, Alpha Fly one was 7.4, so it's gone up in weight. I don't understand the reason why they've gone up in weight. There's no need, we all need lighter trainers. You know, the Vapor Fly is lighter, so I don't understand why they have to go up in weight in, in this shoe. It doesn't make sense. They could get rid of this bit at the back. I don't know what that's for. That's ridiculous. You get rid of this as well to make it lighter. You could probably cut some of this off and it'll bring the weight down straight away. So Nike, the next uh, Alpha Fly 3, get that weight down, get it under seven, and then we're talking nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. So that's six out of 10 for the weight, not oh, good. So for energy return, I'm gonna give seven out of 10. Uh, I'm very disappointed in it, to be honest. I did a race, I won the race. However, first 2K was okay. I ran like 258 and 307 for the first 2K. Then it came to the rolling hills and there was, I didn't feel any power in this, no snappiness. It was just too soft. I felt like I was hill striking as well because it felt heavy and it's so soft at the back, I was sinking in the ground. It, it just didn't feel good. And after the race, my quads were killing me. They were killing me for like a week. And to be honest, when I do a race, after the race, my legs are fine. And for some reason, when I ran in these, and it was five seconds slow in the previous year, and I ran in Alpha Fly 1. And I, I remember the year before the weather was worse. It was raining, windy. Uh, this race, it was just humidity. So I should have been faster, but I was five seconds slower. And I actually do blame these because my last 4K was a nightmare. I was struggling to get home in them. It just, they were way too soft. So for energy return, I'm gonna give seven out of 10. So you just need to firm up a little bit and may, I'll give them one more race and we'll see. So Nike, get that foam firmer. Right, price. Right, I think Nike are having a laugh with the price. These are 310 euros. Uh, the ones before were 275, which were too high. So, like, come on, 310 euros, and they're not even that good. I'll be honest with you, Vega Fly, uh, the Alpha Fly One are a lot better, and you can get them on say off at under 200 euros. You go to an outlet store and you probably pick them up for about 150 quid and these are still 310 quid. They're not worth it. I would give them a miss if I was you. Don't pay the full price for them. Wait for them to go on sale. I've got four pairs of the Alpha Fly one and I do all my speed work in them and I love them. Actually love them. This, 
to be honest with you, would I do my speed work in him? I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to give him one more race, but for the price, it's 310 quid. I won't be getting another pair. Not in a million years. They're gonna have to come off price at least 50% off. So for that, I'm gonna give five out of 10 for the price. Ridiculous price, Nike. You need to sort that out. Right, cons. Well, the heavier than the Alpha Fly one. So that's a big con in my book, to be honest. They should never be heavier than the previous one. Also, the other cons are if you're running somewhere like on a trail or anything, just be careful. You get a brick. See the stone there, stuck in there. So you're gonna, they're gonna be even heavier. That was in my first race, and that was on a road actually, and I already got a, a stone caught in it. Which, you know, I don't understand why I'd have to put this here. We don't need to see the night tick at the bottom. Just cut this bit up, it's ridiculous, to be honest with you. No need for it. So, pros. Pros, 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 let's think. Uh, the more stable than the Alpha Fly one. So, uh, that's a pro, I suppose. Uh, you, the more when you go around corners, you don't feel as though you're gonna roll your ankle. Where on Alpha Fly One, I would only use them for a straight uh, road, it's a straight race. I wouldn't use them for a bendy race. So that's a pro. Uh, the other pro is like on all my shoes at the front there, my toe pops through. I think this will actually last a bit longer than the Vapor Fly because if you look at the Vapor Fly at the front your toe is gonna to pop through very easily on that one there. It'll pop through on this one, it is gonna last longer. So that is a pro compared to the Vaporfly. So who shouldn't get this? I don't think people with wide feet should get this or low arches. This is a no-no for you. Look for a different uh, racing shoe. This isn't gonna suit you personally, so I'd avoid this at all costs. So the final score for the Alphafly 2 is seven out of 10. Uh, the reason why it got 7 out of 10 is probably because of breathability and true to size. However, energy turn is shocking, it doesn't, it doesn't feel fast, it feels lazy, uh, it's too soft, it needs to be firmer. So if I was you guys, I'd go out and get the off fly one, I've got like 4 pairs of off fly one, I'd do all my speed work in them, all my tempo work, and I, they feel good to me. This doesn't feel good. So uh, if you want to see the review of the Vapor Free, just click there and that's the review of Vapor Free. So just remember guys, train hard or die trying. See you later. And just remember guys, very important.